Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, X here with Good Clean Gaming RX. And today I'm going to go over some settings in AimLab. Uh, still something that uh, people are having trouble with or there's just, uh, there's just more information that can be imparted. Um, so I'm going to go over some more of the settings um, and I'm going to uh, go about uh, tuning uh, my settings on here so that you can see the process that I use for doing that. So I'm going to go into my settings first of all and show you what I have currently. I'm just using the Fortnite uh, profile here. Um, and I've gone down to the bottom here for those of you who are in the US. And you can change here the distance of units to inches instead of centimeters. And that makes it much easier to understand for those of you who are using the Imperial measurements. Um, so then you can come up here to the top and this 360 distance is literally the distance you have to move your mouse to get a 360 degree rotation. So for me I've set this to about 4 inches and that corresponds to your, uh, your mouse sensitivity there. Um, then you, that, that would be your X sensitivity. Uh, for your mouse sensitivity you can customize this so you can leave it the same as your mouse sensitivity X. Um, and you can lock this to your mouse sensitivity X if you wish to um, by coming up to X or Y axis sensitivity ratio and hitting it force one to one. And that'll make sure that your Y axis sensitivity and your X axis sensitivity are completely equal. Um, now, uh, another thing then, let's see here, your field of view. Um, that determines literally how much of the game world is visible. I've just got this set to 80. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I have it in uh, at Fortnite. Um, most of the time 75 to 80, even 65 kind of thing is, is kind of the view that's generally used in a lot of games. Um, obviously the wider you go, it, the more uh, wide angle camera kind of thing that you'll see. Um, and so you'll see a little bit more of the game world with that. Um, now your aim down sight, um, you can do your aim down sight to be the same as it is here. Um, you can do your aim down sight sensitivity um, and this will basically change up uh, your sensitivity while you are aiming down a sight and make it uh, a little bit faster, a little bit slower. Um, so I'm gonna just gonna do uh, let's see here targeting assault rifle and see how that changes it and it goes just a little bit higher there targeting slow um, you aim down sight field of view is just a little bit tighter there um, let's see here then you've got scaling settings for hip fire for aim down sights. So you can you can literally change this um, so that the, the aim down sight is completely controlled by the computer and it just adjusts accordingly. Now this is another big setting, the mouse counts per inch or, or DPI. Um, that's literally your mouse mouse input sensitivity, like how how far it's actually saying it's moving when you move your mouse. Um, the the resolution pickup, I suppose, of, of your mouse would be its uh, yeah, would be a way to explain that. Um, it's uh, DPI is literally the number of pixels that the cursor moves for every inch. Um, so if you've got this set to 800, it's going to move 800 pixels per inch of movement. So let's see here, that's about an inch there on my mouse. Um, so I guess you know, from here you move it over about an inch and that's about how far that one goes. So well, obviously this is not, uh, those are not in-game settings. But um, this is another thing that you've got for those of you who are playing games that are not kind of the popular ones, you can go down to show all instead of just show popular and this will literally have every profile that it's set up for. Um, I'm just going to go with that one for right now though. 
Um, we're going to go ahead and we will hit save changes. And then I'm going to go ahead and jump into training here. And I'm just going to do a spider shot. And then we'll go in and tweak settings. And see how we can do here. Spider shot. Train your flicks in all directions. Snap back like an elastic band each time you hit your shot. One, two. One, two. One, two. Keep that rhythm. Okay, so as you can see, that's my sensitivity. Um, it's quite easy to move back and forth. Um, there's a 180 degree spin, and it is uh, moving about four inches or so. Yep, yep, about four inches. Um, I'm going to go ahead and aim down sight here. Oh, wait a moment. That's no, not going to let me. Okay, we'll have to do that after we've gotten into the game here. on some of these. But as you can see, that's uh, that's kind of where it's at currently. So I'm going to go ahead and wow, that's a two percent increase. That's not bad. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and we'll go back out to settings here. And I think my sensitivity was just a little bit too high. So I'm going to go in and go into settings here, and I'm going to change that 360 distance down to. Five, and that's going to change my mouse sensitivity down. My Y sensitivity is going to remain about the same because I've got that one locked to distance, not dependent on my 360 distance there. And I'm going to go ahead and save changes, and I'm going to go ahead and we'll run that one again. And this is just kind of the way that you Spider can shot. Train your um, adjust all things Snap. so that you uh, your distance movement that uh, that you're trying to accomplish is uh, is where you're trying to go and this to me feels just a little bit far I am seeming to uh, come up just a tad short Accuracy is good. <laughs> That's twelve seventy nine. Okay, so accuracy is it's two percent better than your worst. <laughs> So obviously my, my slow reaction time is really my, my worst there is that 964 milliseconds. So that one seemed just a little bit slow. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back to settings here. And this is really just this little bit of tweaking. 
I'm going to change, whoa, that's a little bit high. Okay, I'm going to change this down. And we're going to do this one to, uh, let's do this to about 4.75, because that felt just a little bit closer. Oop, and my wire sensitivity now is, is very far off, so we're going to bring this up. Let's set this to uh, 0 0.04 even. And we'll just let that go there. Okay, now the other thing that I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to change the resolution on this one. I'm going to set this up to about 1200. I just want to see if that changes anything. It does. Okay, so that is gonna that is gonna change this one here. We're gonna set this back to about 4.75, and we're gonna bring this one down slightly to match it. Okay, so those have remained the same. So I've essentially increased my mouse input sensitivity there, and decreased my my mouse sensitivity as it is. Uh, controlled by the algorithm here. So I'm going to go ahead and save changes and I'm going to go ahead and try this one again. Spider shot. Train your flicks. Okay, so this feels this feels actually kind of good. Uh, slightly more precise. Accuracy is quite a bit up. Score was up, very nice. Accuracy is up as well there. Uh, let's see here, time to kill. 36 better than your average, so that's, uh, that's good as well. Target was three better than your average. Kill total was six better than my average. So still getting a little bit of slower hand here. But that seems like that's increased um, my accuracy, and it seems to have worked very nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and tweak the settings just a little bit more. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this one up again to about, uh, let's do 1600. I'm going to come back up here and we are going to change our 360 distance, 4.75 again. And we're going to leave this mouse sensitivity alone. So we're really not going to have to change that a whole lot. I'm going to go ahead and save the changes. And we'll try this one more time and see if this improves it again. Spider shot. Train your flicks in all direct. Okay. So I'm keeping my mouse distance the same. So this feels perhaps a little bit too precise, or a little bit far on the other that I'm going to have to, that I'm going to, have to move here. So I may decrease my mouse movement, but I've got to move, be 
because I am working with a higher resolution here. Score is better than my average again. Time to kill was better. Targets were better. Kill total is still better. Still slow reaction time. Time to kill is about, about the same. Very nice. Okay. So I think I like that one. I am going to go ahead and lower these uh, the distance settings here. I'm going to do this about 4.25 uh, inches. And we'll just save that one there. And we'll try one more. And this is literally how it is uh, to work on your settings. All directions. Snap back like an you just got to uh, you just got to work and and see uh, what you like and what works the best for you. Very nice. Kill time. Very nice. That's going better as well. Average targets. 68. Very nice. Average kill total of the last 7 plays. 57. Next 60. So as you can see, just tweaking your uh, just tweaking your sensitivities there can greatly increase uh, your proficiency. So definitely something I'd recommend going in and doing, and I hope this guide has helped you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone. Ta-ta.